What's going on everyone? In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to upload video natively to LinkedIn, both on desktop and mobile, what the features are and what you don't have, and how I think it can help your business grow. So stay tuned, it's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name's Larry Snow and Yes, we're going to be taking a look at native video on LinkedIn, something that's relatively new. It came out over the summer. There was a big brouhaha about it. When was it coming? When was it coming? And now everyone should have it. And how you know you have it, if I go over to the LinkedIn homepage, linkedin.com, it'll say share an article, photo, video, or idea. And if you click inside, you'll see the little video icon will show up. Why it doesn't show up until you click in, I'm not sure. <laughs> but if you click in and you see the video uh, tab here, the video icon, you're good to go. But I wanna go back and I wanna show you what it actually looks like once you have a video up natively on LinkedIn. And then we'll work through the process a little bit. So right here is a native video. And I uh, just upload your video like you would to YouTube. You just do it to LinkedIn. And on what, there are no options, none. It just uploads the video and it'll take a while to process through and it will notify you when the video is done. And that's it. Uh, you add in your commentary, kind of like what you would do on a Facebook or in a description of your video on YouTube and you're done it's good to go i'm gonna go back to the home page here and over here on the left hand side you'll see 127 views of your video if you click on that and here's why i think in it can help your business because of the people that see it not only the people but also the companies and the people that work at those companies like right here, it says three people from Fidelity Investments viewed your video. So Fidelity, presumably, might find that interesting that I'm doing a video on that specific subject. So that's something that you have to keep in mind because if you're starting to grow an audience on LinkedIn, on Instagram, on Twitter, not just YouTube, by diversifying, you're also connecting with other people that might be interested in your stuff that you didn't even know about, All right? So that's where I think uh this type of thing that we're doing here with the native video or even just posting on linkedin it'll give you stats on who is looking at your content and it's not going to say exactly who but in rough definition i'm i you know i have operation specialists business owners 18 people who have the title firefighter my biggest audience is from greater new york city area and i'm in boston so that gives me a lot of data to understand and collect and make note of when I'm posting this content. So now that you have an idea of what it actually looks like, I'm gonna walk you through the process and I'm actually going to upload a video. And then or I'm also gonna upload a video through mobile. So you get to see what that looks like as well through the LinkedIn app. So we're gonna go back to the LinkedIn homepage, the feed page. I'm going to click in here. I'm going to click on video. And I am going to go over to my external drive and go down to, here it is, Google Analytics Goals. I'm going to click on open. It already knows it's a video and, and boom, there's your video. All done. But there's no cover photo, there's no uh, thumbnail. What it is, it is. So there's nothing really to edit here other than the text that you can put in up here. Now with the text, you can also click, uh, include uh, website links, uh, links to your YouTube channel, uh, stuff like that. There isn't really anything you can't do in, in the text. 
but the important part is the video, and there's nothing you can do in the video. I mean, you can't edit it, you can't crop it, you can't do anything. Once it's in, it's in, and that's how it's going to look. When a person comes <laughs> on you know, onto the feed and sees that video, that's what they're going to see. The actual first frame of the video, and that's important to remember when you're doing uh, native videos. All right, so let's add in some text. And I'm just going to grab it over from YouTube, my YouTube video that I did on the same thing. And so this is one of the benefits here, guys, is that you can repurpose your content. So what you can do is you can download your YouTube video and then use it as a native video in other social media networks like LinkedIn. And that's exactly what I did for that first video that saw the advanced uh, search for Facebook, the AFS. And I downloaded, downloaded it from YouTube and I uploaded it natively to LinkedIn and added in some text and a link to my website. And that's it. So let's go do that. Now, if you don't know how to download a video after, you, after you've uploaded it, you go into your Creator Studio, you go into your video, video manager and you click the little down arrow here and then down towards the bottom here, it'll say download MP4. And that's the one that you can uh, repurpose and put up on other social networks. If you have a video editor like ScreenFlow, Camtasia, uh, something like that, you can uh, chop it up into smaller bits that you can put on Instagram and or Twitter uh, so that it is native into that application. So let's pretend we've downloaded that. Go over to here, we're gonna go into edit. And I'm just going to grab some of the content that I have up here. And I'm just going to grab all of this stuff here. And click copy, go back to our video that we've uh, posted in here. I'm going to click paste. And I'm just going to review the content to make sure it makes sense for this audience. So some of the audiences on LinkedIn would be business oriented. So I need to uh, fine tune maybe this content to make sure that it fits in the context of the LinkedIn audience. And that's something also to be aware of when you are repurposing your content. Now, before I click post, I just want you to check out the privacy settings that you do have for your video. You can say public, anyone on or off LinkedIn which is important. If you want this content only to be for your LinkedIn audience, you can do that here by tagging it as your connections, or you can do anyone on or off LinkedIn and Twitter. So it'll also go to Twitter at the same time it goes on LinkedIn. And you also have the option to allow uh, comments on this video. I think I'm just gonna leave it the way it is, and I'm gonna click post. Now it's gonna take its time and it's gonna upload and then it's gonna process the video just like it would on YouTube. Uh, the longer the video, the longer the process it is for it to upload it to the LinkedIn servers. But again, you'll get a notification when it is complete. While we're waiting, we're gonna go over to the mobile side of the uh, equation here and look at the LinkedIn app and upload a video that way. Okay, so I am in the LinkedIn feed on the LinkedIn app app and again we have that little uh, video icon there along with an image we can up, certainly upload an image as well so I'm going to click in there as, to make a post and I'm going to click on the video icon down the bottom and it's going to upload my my uh, videos that I have in my uh, library now if this is your first time doing this it's probably going to ask you can I have access to your library on your phone and of course you would say yes we're going to click on our video we're going to click next tap and then click paste now i have larrysnow.me slash app now that is the url but we have to put http or in this case https in front of it to make sure it's clickable and we can actually tag someone in here we can tag in uh, maybe my father-in-law, Tony Scotty. I can tap him in there and I can click done. And this feature is also in the desktop, but I didn't use it. There was a little at symbol and you could tag somebody, sort of like what you can do with Facebook. 
Okay, now we can click post right away. There is a cog over here, which let's click on that, see what that says. So it has the same type of options. We can share it publicly, publicly, and to my Twitter, and, or just to my connection. So it has that same privacy uh, settings that it does on the desktop. We're gonna click post. And that's gonna take some time to prepare it as well. It's only 38 seconds. It's uploading very quickly because it's such a small file. And I'm sure it'll be posting any second now. So thank you all for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you want to see another video that I think you might be interested uh, regarding LinkedIn, you can go watch that here. And it is on your LinkedIn privacy and security settings. To learn more about me, go to larrysnow.me and I'll see you in the next video.